TV Joshua. Huh? You are TV Joshua. Eh, hey, hey, where is TV Joshua? You are TV Joshua. Where is TV Joshua? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! <laughs> okay, please. Please, I mean, no go. Please, I beg you to give me. Tell me, you say you want to beat me. I will not do it. I don't know what I'm doing. Like you say you want to beat me. No, I will not beat you. Your power is bigger than my own. <laughs> How many of us are wine and dine with Jesus? We worship him in the natural, not in the spirit. That is why you need to depend on what people say about God. What you read about God only. What the situation and all look like. because you worship him in the natural. Hardly anyone here can explain what is happening. What, what am I looking at? I don't understand it. I'm always just a woman coming out to talk. Take note of the word. Separation. This is why you are here today. That is why everyone here is here today. Yeah. To separate you from poverty, yeah. from darkness, yeah. from affliction, yeah. from, from sickness, yeah. from setback, yeah. from barrenness, yeah. from failure. Yeah. Many are here at the point of breakthrough. You see them, they will say, ah, he has made it, he has, he has made it, he has made it. Just at the point of breakthrough, the tea will just drop. Pop. People will say, ah, very too frustrating. If the whole thing drop at the beginning, now one can reason that they are not making it. But after you are beating many people, beating many people, at the, that point of breakthrough, when many hope on you, Many have invested on you. Many are supporting you. Many are looking at you as their hope. <laughs> separation. Look at the word separation. I ask her, if the Lord used me to separate you now. <laughs> come here. After the congregation watched the clips of the woman who was delivered from the evil spirit that possessed her, Prophet T.B. Joshua ministered to the congregation that today they will be separated from their limitations. A woman possessing a contrary spirit admits the congregation screams out and Prophet T.B. Joshua calls her to come out. The evil spirit that had been tormenting the life of this woman speaks out of her with frustration and anger as she walks towards the altar. Come here! Come here! Where are you? You are strong! Come Why here! You are, you are strong! I said, come here. You want to separate too? You want to separate? I'm telling you, you're disturbing me. See, why are you disturbing me? <laughs> why are you disturbing me? Listen, listen, to what <laughs> listen to what I'm talking about. Listen to what I'm talking about. What have, what have we done now that brought about this? No, give it to her. Let her. You will show me your power today. Wait, wait. Allow her. Let her abuse me. Show me your power say, say whatever you want to we say. Show me your power today. Eh? Show me your power. Which power do you have? No, no. Show me. Let her talk everything. Oh, ah, to me, oh, I, what you take my wife from me? Eh? You cannot take it away from Give me. Give it to her. Let her abuse me. Oh. You cannot take it away from me. Listen, listen. Yes, you can't. Listen to her. Me, what is this? Even in the dream, you are disturbing me in the dream. What is all this? <laughs> listen, listen. Can you, you, can you take my wife from listen, me? Listen, just watch. You want to take my wife from me? You cannot take it. It's my wife. It's my wife. You can't. I love you so much. 
You can't take it. Look at you. Who are you? Uh, okay, give who it. Who are you? Hey, can you say that? Who are you? I'm asking. Can you say that? He said, Who are you? He started the question. Look at you. Look at you, you small boy. Who are you? Yes. Eh? I stop him not to have baby to our husband. You say what? Yes, he will never have a baby. Even see, this is not pregnancy. Do you know the reason? I allow you to see the drama very well. If I don't want her to talk, she will not talk. If all this nonsense is saying, I want you to know that this is light and darkness. So if you don't see it clear like that, it will be difficult for you to understand what has happened. You will show me your thoughts today. Uh -huh. You will show me where that phone come from today. You are going to show it. It is like that one I want to see. You will show me. You listen to that? Okay. Let's let's now move on. Oh, yeah, just wait today. Leave leave her, don't touch her. <laughs> Why is this not me in the dream? You come in the dream. Leave me alone. Be on your knee. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone now, please. Be on your knee. Leave me alone. <laughs> somebody who wants to beat me. I say somebody who plan to beat me at the beginning. Can you imagine now? Stand up there. I say stand up, just leave her. Mm, we still have a long way to go. Eh, somebody that leading now, he, he's a busy me again. Look at that, look at that again. He say you see today. You see, 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 see. See, see. Can you see? That's the that's their life in the spirit. They are fake. They are what? Fake. They will threat you if you don't have Jesus. You will begin to run. Come here. You will do what? Come here. I'll beat you now. <laughs> <laughs> you will beat me. Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, do like this. Oh yeah, start. Oh yeah, start. Come on. Come. Come. Be on your knee. Okay, the question now, what is talking in them? He said, come here, I will beat you. He really means to beat. If you are not in Christ Jesus, he will beat. That is just the secret there. Don't think that they are just making... Yeah? He said what? Yeah? Why are you disturbing me now? Leave me alone. What is all this? You have destroyed everything. You have destroyed everything. Hey, why? This man. Oh, this man. You say what? I will kill it. You. You will beat me. I will Oh, yeah, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. And, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. You want to be? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So that is the uh, life for you. Yes. Okay, go down, go down there, go down there, go down there. I think go there. TV Joshua. Huh? You are TV Joshua. Eh? Hey, hey, eh, where is TV Joshua? You are TV Joshua. Where is TV Joshua? Don't touch me! <laughs> okay, please. Remember, it's one of the ministry. We have five ministry. This is just one. Don't let us waste our time on this. We have five ministry. Prophetic ministry is still inside. Healing ministry is inside. So this is just a deliverance ministry. So if you now put all our effort, everything here, it's like we are robbing ourselves the blessing of God. So please shift your attention now. Uh, yes, back to the other lady. Yeah? Me. <laughs> Deliver me. Deliver me. you say you want to beat me. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Deliver me, man of God. You say what? Time to deliver me. He <laughs> say he's sorry. Okay, right? We are here for separation. Whatever that is not planted by God in you, <laughs> it's too early. I'm only telling you what we are going here for. We are here for separation. 
there's anything that is planted by Satan in whichever way in your business in your life your marital life nightmare hardship I mean you know your situation I say you know your situation so can you see what I'm talking about now that the ministry we are under we have five fold ministry here and only one now is trying to rob us taking so much time whereas we still have four more so it's just one everyone must pass through the deliverance yeah. like this is like our own is too much you know when you have too much of darkness it, it the thing will be worry you we have not talked of deliverance and started shouting so but you it's just little 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 they are the one that just afflicted you there are some that are afflicted here there are some that are author so there are three different this demon we have some that are afflicted by this evil power some those who afflicted them and those whom they afflicted they are here so when it is time for deliverance the reaction of that different those who afflicted people you see them crying jumping jumping blue, blue, blue. but those who are afflicted you may not fall but the tear will be through your sweat the tear come out it may be true cough mere cough you just find yourself being delivered it may be mere you feel press you want to go to restroom during the prayer you just find yourself go to restroom that is the end of the problem so in different way you that have afflicted those things can go it's not necessarily you fall you may fall but those who afflicted you you see their reaction deliver me man of god please i beg you deliver me Tell me you say you want to beat me. I will not do it. I don't know what I'm doing. Deliver you me. say you want to beat me. No, I will not beat you. Your power is bigger than my own. <laughs> Sorry. So now can you say you have started pity her? The one that was talking before was the one inside her. You know, everyone here has two natures in one person. As you are sitting now, you are with two personality. Tell your neighbor, I'm with two personality. As you are sitting, you are with two personalities. One is Celestia, and another is Mr. You that I can see. One we can see, another one we can see by the eyes of faith. Two personalities in one person. If you live for God, you have the divine nature of God. The one we can see by the eyes of faith, that is the divine nature of God. But if you are now turns your life for Satan, you now have the divine nature of Satan. That is those who inspire people to steal, to kill, to destroy. So the one is having now, that is the divine nature of Satan. That living inside her. My name is Juliet Njideka. Oh yeah. I came from Imo State. The man beside me is my husband. The problem that brought me here in synagogue of God, uh, Church of All Nations is the problem of spiritual husband. This spiritual husband has been tormenting my life for years. As, if, as you can see now, I don't have a child. Whenever I, I took him, this spiritual husband will come and have sex in, with me in that dream. The, the child will, will just got spoiled failure everywhere disappointment hatred everywhere this is what the spiritual husband has been tormenting me it affects my husband because my husband is a, an electrical engineering so if they called him for work that they, if you told me that they called him for work somewhere that they, they somebody called him that he will come and wire a house for him i would say okay go now but i know that that job they were not they're not going to give him the job so if some sometimes if you go they will just disappoint me, just disappoint me like that. Even the, the, the boys that learn work from his hand, people used to give them job more than uh, my husband. So this is uh, what the spiritual husband has been tormenting in my life. In my dream, he had sex with me in, the, in my dream. I ate in that in, in, in the dream. I, I, I swim in the river in that dream. You know, even if, even if, he had my, if I have sex with him, 
in the gym, I come out in the morning, I won't, I won't have affection to my husband. I will just hate him. I will start looking at him one kind, one kind of eye like that. We have gone to many churches, many to Pentecostal church, spiritual churches, prayer houses, spiritual churches for solution, but to no avail. Last week Sunday, I was sitting there quietly, watching to a video, watching to a video, a woman that's watching to a video, a woman that is possessed by the evil spirit. So immediately, I turned my face to look at the man of God. I saw fire. That fire, the color of the fire is is yellow. The fire just comes straight to me. On my body, I start on the, the fire start burning me from head to down. Every, that's I didn't even feel comfortable there again. I was like I, I'm drunk. I start holding myself so uh, no, I will not come out because everywhere is quiet. I won't come out now. But still, I don't know. Within a sudden, I just jump out, start shouting, talking to the man of God. You no. Know, even I don't even know what I'm saying. Is the evil spirit inside me that is saying all this? I don't even know that I, I was shouting to the man of God that I want to beat him or something like that. I don't even know. Man of God should have mercy on me, forgive me because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Since I came, I came inside there. Since that's when I came here, I'm I'm feeling okay. I'm 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 all right because. So man of God prayed for me, the evil spirit just go out from me, that something just go out from my body. You know, since then I'm okay. You know, when I came in here, my body is very, very heavy. I can't even run from here to there. But since they have been praying with me inside to the church here, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling okay. I'm all right. I, dream, I, didn't, I didn't dream again where I eat or where I have sex with a, a spiritual husband or where I swim in the, dream again, in the river. I don't dream, I don't dream any of dream like that again. And since uh, the man of God invited your husband, tell us uh, the feelings you have towards your husband now. Do you still feel that disgust uh, you used to feel each time you had a encounter with a spiritual husband? Or how, do, how do you see uh, your husband now? I love him so much now. I love him very, very well. When that spiritual husband is in me, I don't, I don't love him like that. I just take him, I just, I'm living with him. But now, I, just, I love him so much. So I want to tell him sorry for... What the, the, for what happened that I, uh, about the spiritual husband I'm, I'm delivered now to God be the glory we thank God Almighty for this wonderful deliverance and we know that this deliverance is not only your deliverance but deliverance for the whole family and uh, we like to hear from, from the husband to hear his, exper his experience and also to tell us how he feels now that uh, the wife uh, is finally delivered from this evil uh, spiritual husband that has been tormenting her and tormenting the family. So can you please tell us your name and where you come from? Okay, my name is uh, Engineer Ohia Uchechuku. I came from Imo State to the Snagon Church of All Nation. And this my wife beside me. God for God to deliver my wife for the spiritual husband problem that has been tormenting uh, his life for a long time up till now that things are not getting i believe that god uh, now solved the problem for our family and also that she's free and two i'm free too yeah i love her if i this thing made me to suck her out from my house before uh, I still say okay. Uh, I have to call her back so that I will deliver her, so that she will still live with me because of the love I have where she was, you know. And after that, I now have to call her back. Then I now took her to many places to to deliver her. I go many churches, still no way going from one church to another she still said that she wants to visit a uh, manual uh, church of uh, all nations uh, church of all nations that is where she will be free that she's now delivered can you tell us some of those things that uh, happened to you in the past because they have become past now your yeah, past is over but for the glory of god how much torment did you receive 
as a result of this uh, spiritual husband in the life of your wife? What were the things that really happened to you that now you give glory to God that it's, it's, it's a thing of the past? Okay, um, during that time, I saw many things, even accidents, hardship. I don't have nobody come to me as a friend or we stay long, just short time. That person will depart from me. My friends, male friends, my colleagues, they avoid me. They don't like me, you know, that's hatred sometime uh, sometime in the night maybe around in the night I will sleep off till the next morning I will not even remember if I'm if I'm with my wife or something like that till the next morning I will sleep sleep off so sometime she, she don't want me to even near her she just want me to go off and go my way and uh, the next morning sometimes she feel cheated and I say ah, what is the problem that's uh, at my my mind is cleared where you are so what makes you to feel cheated what makes you to look around you feel that um, I'm, I'm cheating you or going to any other woman outside than you that I'm very I don't know that is that thing is the thing that is doing her to there to feel bad on the, the spiritual husband that is doing her to do all those things i've been thinking that uh, she is doing it out of out of his own her own mind without knowing that is the spiritual husband that is having doing those things for me to knew the spiritual husband is very is, is, i've been long years before now i have to know that it's a uh, spiritual husband that is doing all these things so i'm happy that she's now delivered we well, thank god for your life now that the the old man is gone the evil spirit has left your life all things become new and not only your life but in this family in this marriage all things become new and this deliverance is going to produce fruit in the name of jesus christ and now that it is over i want to I uh, encourage you to embrace the wonderful word of God as the most effective instrument for change. Because the Bible says when we receive uh, deliverance and healing from our Lord Jesus Christ, we should follow Jesus along the way to make his word the standard for our lives. And now we, we pray that God might give you the inner grace to make his word the standard for your life. And as you do so, it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. This program is not time bound. It is anointed every time, all the time, in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you. Good morning and winter.